Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 28 bread and butter bolos for you guys. Basically, these are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I call these my bread and butter. Um, these are items that are easier to find, items that I pick up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace, just basically anywhere I can find a good deal. Um, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully this helps you guys learn. And I know that when I watch people's what solds, it definitely helps me learn to what, to what? Learn what to keep my eye out for. So let's get started here with some bread and butter bolos. All right. I have a tendency to move pretty quickly. So the first item is this Enchanted Barbie. This is a 1995 Barbie. It's a reproduction of a 1960 Barbie. And I picked this up at a garage sale. I walked up to the garage sale and they had like two tables full. And I said, how much do you want for all of them? And they kind of went, all of them? And I'm like, yes, all of them. And I have a tendency to do this quite often. And I bundle and I get better deals by bundling. So they may have had $10 on this, you know, I don't remember, like everything was priced differently, but I ended up getting one price and it came to, I think it was about $3 per item. So that's what I have in this. I did take a best offer of $24 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Barbie 1998 remote control city lights cycle. And it's still in the original box. The box is a little beat up. Um, I took a best offer on this of $32 and the buyer paid shipping and I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. The next item I sold are these dangle drop earrings. They are articulated, which means they kind of wiggle, um, not like on their own, but if you take it, it wiggles, if that makes sense. Um, this is the measurements and you can see here what they look like against a natural, um, like skin tone, um, as opposed to like a white background. I just think it shows the detail of the item and also the dimensions. I think it shows better on my hand. Now, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. I've asked this before and most people agree they like the hand. I don't think I would put it in my main photo, but I don't mind it in the other photos. So let me know in the comments what you think. These did sell for $16.39. The buyer paid shipping and these came from my i bought it on ebay to sell on ebay my 400 gosh was it 400 and i forget how many pounds it was i used to say it just like that and i can't remember now i'll have to go back and look but um my bulk buy the next item is this vintage barbie and this also came from the barbie buy at the garage sale so i've got three dollars in this and i sold her for thirty dollars best offer and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this is a vintage Sir by Botany men's tie. This came from a garage sale. I bought it with some other ties, so I ended up having about 25 cents in it. And I typically will do measurements like this and like this. So the person looking for it can decide if that is the length and the width that they are interested in. This item, I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this American Girl doll book lot. And I picked these up at a garage sale. I probably had like a dollar in all of them. And I sold it for $17.59 and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Estee Lauder, it's a perfume. It's partially used. It is vintage. Um, I sold this for $21.60. The buyer did pay the shipping. And I picked this up at a garage sale. And I probably paid a dollar or less. That's typically what I pay for them. The next item I sold is this Hallmark. Um, it's a snow globe with this little rabbit and watering can. And you can see here, this is what it says on the bottom. So I just included that information in the title. This came from a thrift store. And I, I think this might've been in a mystery box. And I don't think it was a good mystery box. So I have estimated $3 in this. So I'm guessing I didn't get much stuff out of that one. So sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Girl Scout vest. Now this one is not super old, but this, a sash, another vest, 
um, was in a bag at a thrift store. And I think it was $3 if I remember correctly. And I was like, eh, $3 gamble. Well, there ended up being a like stack of other patches that weren't even Girl Scout related tucked inside the bag. So um, I'll be sure to reference that. I've sold two other patches and I've sold the sash and I think I sold the other vest. So you'll see those in some videos, but these things have sold pretty quickly, even though they're not super old. So definitely be on the lookout. This did sell for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, this was a very, very, very long tail item. I've had these for a long time. I don't even remember where I got them. That's how long I've had them. Um, a lot of people will put these on dolls, but I don't even remember where I got them or what I paid for them, but it probably wasn't much. These may have been an estate sale. I took a best offer of $11, buyer paid shipping, and I was very happy to see these go. If I had to guess, I would say I paid a dollar or less because that is typical of my behavior. The next item I sold is this vintage Christmas morning display. And somebody messaged me and told me I had it overpriced and one that had everything included um, sold for this price. I forget what they said, but I'm like everything included. I'm like, I could not find any comparables on this. I don't even know what this is. So if anybody knows, please let me know. I thought it was adorable, but um, I ended up taking a $20 offer. Uh, the buyer did pay the shipping. I did sell it to that person, if I remember correctly. I think I sold it to that person. Um, but I really want to know what else it, like it's supposed to have with it. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't complete. I'm wondering if it was something in, a mis in one of my mystery boxes because this came out of a mystery box and I tossed it to the side and it went with this. So I don't know if anybody knows, put it in the comments. The next item I sold is this Loving Family Twin um, twin Time Blonde Baby Doll. And she's got her little bottle. I took a best offer of $13 and the buyer paid shipping. I pick these up at garage sales all the time. And um, I think I've picked them up on Facebook Marketplace. I just source different places. I love selling toys. So this guy, came out of my very first box that I brought from Donatella Bottolino's auction. And it was a $25 box. Nobody bid against me. It was back when she first started. I made so much money on this box. I actually have a video showing you everything I got in the box. But um, this one hung around a while. I had it priced probably a little higher than I should have, but I was waiting on the right buyer. And I think I had an offer early on that I probably should have taken, but it came in so early that I was like, oh, I'm going to hold off. And I think I should have took it. But I ended up taking a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. I got the entire box full of stuff for $25 free shipping. I made my money back on this one item. Everything else was profit. So um, you'll have to search back quite a bit on my channel to see that video, but you should definitely go check it out. All right, this vintage small soldiers, um, it's an action figure. These small soldiers have a following. I have done really well on these. Um, I had no clue what they were. I picked them up at a garage sale and a big tote of toys that's been sitting in my basement for like, I don't know, a year, year and a half, something crazy. Um, probably longer, but at least that. And I finally decided that I was going to list that toe to toys. And you will see quite a few toys in the upcoming videos because I have sold a lot of those toys. But the small soldiers, uh, maybe uh, search eBay and look at the different ones because these do sell really well. They're not a big, huge money item, but they are a great bread and butter and they sell quickly. The next item I sold are these Longenberger Pottery Sweetest Heart Candle Plate in Pink. I picked these up at a garage sale. I paid 50 cents each. I did get three of them. And this one, I took a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. I do have one left if anyone's interested. I do also put my store link down in the description of the video. So if you guys wanna go shopping, feel free to make me offers. When you make the offer, just put Bolo Buddies in the comments or BB, something like that, so that I know um, you follow the channel. And I'll definitely take that into consideration when I'm checking out your offer. So um, that's definitely always appreciated. All right. The next item I sold is this clown. And this was, I think, in that tote or with the stuff that I bought from the same sale. 
Uh, I know I got it at the same sale and it's just been sitting in my basement. Yeah. And it sold super fast. I wasn't sure about this one. And I remember having one of these as a kid. My sister and I both had one. Um, I don't know if it was the same brand, but it was the clown with the fuzzy hair. But anyway, this sold for $18.40. The buyer paid shipping. And again, it sold pretty quickly. And I probably had less than a dollar in it. The next item I sold is this Schmid JC ooh, Leyendecker Saturday Evening Post Yule Christmas Ornament. It is vintage and it is new old stock. This came out of a mystery box. It's um, I sold it for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this mixed lot of 26 bangle bracelets. If I remember correctly, these bracelets came from the same garage sale as the clown and the toys that I just showed. Again, um, these have been kind of long tail, which I'm surprised because there's some really cute bracelets and I feel like, you know, I had them priced at a decent price. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping. And at that garage sale, I spent, oh gosh, I think over $500. I bought so much stuff and they had a ton of jewelry and I just bought it all. And it was all costume. I don't think there were any jewelry bolos there. So this came from a garage sale and it was an incomplete set of Legos. So whenever they're in the bag and I can identify which um, Lego set it goes to, I will um, just sell the bag. And I knew that it was the Heart Lake Grand Hotel and people will buy these. They will need a certain piece and they will know that it is in bag 10 and they will look for bag 10. Um, I did take a best offer of $18 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Flash Gordon action figure. This was another one that was inside that tote that I was telling you about. This guy sold for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. So, I mean, I might have a quarter in him. The next item I sold, Cat's Meow. You guys, if you follow my channel, you know that I have a ton of Cat's Meow from a huge purchase I bought at a garage sale. I paid $30 for like three boxes full. So I've got hardly anything in this. Uh, I took a best offer of $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Play School dollhouse refrigerator. I sold this for $14.40 and the buyer paid the shipping. And again, it was a bulk buy of a bunch of dollhouse stuff. This, um, I actually thrifted and it came with some other items, but I was like, oh, these are magnets and they say Lamaze and they're learning curve and they're from 2006. I think I can sell these. And I put them up for auction and they got one bid and the buyer paid immediately. I sold them for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So, you know, by the time you put shipping and tax, they, they paid over $30 for these little magnets. So that's what they look like, guys. And again, it was like a bundle of things at a thrift store. Like they throw stuff in bags. And I want to say I paid like three or four bucks for it. The next item is this Star Wars ornament. And I believe this came out of a mystery box. And I sold this for $17.99. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage tea. It's a size large. It's a Winston Cup Series uh, Cow Crew. I, I don't know much about racing. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I was missing some keywords in the title, but it still sold for $31.99. I picked this up at a garage sale with a bunch of these types of teas for $1 each and the buyer paid shipping on this. The next item I sold, um, this one actually surprised me how quickly it sold. I felt like this was going to be one of those that I listed and it sat forever, but it sold pretty fast. And it's the Vintage Applause Fuzzles the Cat from 1989. It's a orange tabby plush stuffed animal. And I took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think that came from a garage sale with a bunch of plush. Now, the reason I like this one is this is one Lego man, just one. And it's the minifigure Lone Ranger Tonto replacement. And what I did is I did a Google Lens search and that's how I knew that. Um, I sold this for $8 and the buyer paid the shipping. So, you know, the buyer was all in for about $14 for one Lego with shipping and tax. So definitely, um, if you see Legos and it's just a single, don't count it out. I mean, 
Some of you may not want to waste your time, but this thing sold fast. And you know, my profit was probably around six bucks. So pretty good. And the last item are these vintage ponytail holders. They are called twin bead. So when there's a bead on each side, um, that is called twin bead. The vintage ones are a bread and butter bolo typically. Um, so definitely be on the lookout. This is, I've had these, they've been sitting a while. Some of them sold really quick. And these for some reason have taken a while, but I did sell them for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. And those were back in my thrift battle. I don't know if you guys saw it, but if you didn't, you should definitely go check it out. Um, it was on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel and it was a battle between myself and Donatella Bottolino. And we both brought items and we compared them and then like the audience votes on who had the better bolo. So definitely go check that out on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. And you can see some bolos and see if I won. Do you think I won? Put your guess in the comments. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.